hello hello today is a day it's very difficult for me to get my words out so I'm going to try this again the whole world at the moment is having a little bit of a financial issue and I know for one um, I cannot afford to go and buy things unless they are absolutely necessary and when I do buy things I am very very careful what I buy so um, on Saturday the marvellous and wondrous Tim Holtz is going to have um, a, a, the release from his makers with all of the new dyes that he had come out and um, the embossing folders etc and I know that I'm going to watch that feeling very, very sad. And I know a lot of other people out there are going to feel very, very sad too. It's just not in my wheelhouse right now. Just isn't. But the good thing about that is it makes you become more creative, I think, and looking for alternatives. For example, I know a lot of people do this. Um, the new ink, I bought um, the Uncharted Mariner and I bought it as a distress um, re-inker. And I have used my little bottle, three pupettes of that in there, filled with water, and the spray is brilliant. I've used it several times already. I love it. I sprayed this with it, for example. Beautiful. Um, and I have to come up with ideas like that all of the time, like many other crafters and creators. So um, I wanted to put together a nice big box of stuff um, that I could use when um, the makers things come out and I could probably have a little go at doing some of the things that I love to do. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Well, not, but I'm going to stop babbling on. And I have worked out um, how to make five different things using my envelope punch board. Now, the die kits are about £21 each in the UK. So that's like £63 if I wanted to buy all of them. And of course, you can't make everything on your own and we can just try. We can just try our best. I'm going to make five things today using this punch board and we might come up with a few other things as we go along. But the first thing I'm going to make are some tabs. Now, you can use lots of methods to make tabs. I'm going to show you what I've been doing on my envelope punch board. And I've got some cardstock here cut to one and a half so you can't see the one because there isn't one one and a half by two inches and i've got some two inch by two inches so i'm going to show you how to make two different types of tabs using these two different size papers now when you have your envelope punch oh by the way these you can pick these up in the uk ranging from 13 pounds to 27 pounds i had a little look that's a big price difference so please shop around um I know I certainly didn't pay £27 for mine. Now, when you look at your envelope punch board, you have a little corner indicated here. And that's where you put in your, your paper. And that corner is where it cuts. Okay, so that is the corner we need in here. Halfway is where we need to be looking. And I'm having my punch board with the punch side on the left. And let's start with the two by two inch. Now this is optional. You don't have to have one of these. Um, you could just fold all of these in half, but I'm gonna use my scoreboard because I find it, I can fold a lot neater. Um, but I'm gonna score these all at one inch. And I'm doing that on the short side of this one. So I'm just scoring down that one inch halfway. And I'm gonna fold all of these in half and we have the start of our tabs. Okay, and we can have a whole box of stuff by the end of a day. I say that, I've spent three days, three days pretty much cutting out every spare second I've had. So I'm gonna take my folded piece, fold side towards the punch, okay? Fold side towards the punch, and I am lining up the edge of my paper with the middle of that punch board. Okay, so halfway and I'm gonna punch. Now I'm gonna flip it that way. So I've still got five folded edge against the punch board. Put it in halfway, punch again. And there we have not a bad shaped tab. I love it. So let's do one smaller. This is the 
two by one and a half inch. And I'm gonna do exactly the same again, halfway, punch, turn it over, still with the folded side against the punch board. And let's punch again. And there we have a little dilly one, okay? So if you want to, you could always trim off more of this. You don't have to have this so large, but that's the first shape of tab we can make just with our envelope punch board. The second one is much more simple and not quite as pretty, but I'm gonna use this side of the envelope board and I'm gonna put in folded side again towards the punch. Punch that, punch that. Same with the little one, punch that punch that and then we have two round top tabs okay so you, again you could trim off more of this if you didn't want these so large but there are four tabs just using our envelope punch board you could use any scraps to make this um, any patterned paper um, file folders magazine pages anything you want to make your tabs the second thing I'm going to do is, of course, we're using our envelope punch board. So I'm going to use my envelope punch board to make an envelope. Now, in keeping with the whole set of things that I've been making, I am using a six by six, six inches by six inches piece of cardstock. And I'm going to be using three by four card size and I've already put my little bit of washi tape here thanks to everyone who thought that was a great idea I have to do it because I can't look at all of these numbers it just drives me mad and we want to punch at, far, at two and five eighths so two and five eighths is here so there's our two and there is our five eighths so I'm putting the paper in the card stock in and I'm lining the edge of the paper up with that measurement First thing, you just score. First one done, and then we spin it. We line this score line up with our little pointy bit and punch, and then do our second score line. Spin it again, line the little pointy bit up with our score line, and do that, punch. And then finally, we turn it again, line it up, I always check that this is gonna line up roughly with that. And you can see I forgot to punch that one. So let's punch this one and put that in and we'll punch the one that I forgot. So now we have our envelope shape. Now at this point, you could round all four of these corners. I'm not gonna bother because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fold in my insides. <laughs> Bet you'd like to see me try and do that. I'm gonna grab a ruler I'm going to fold this piece up. Let's get rid of those little punched pieces. Okay, and I'm just going to put my ruler so it lines up with that V and that V. I'm going to fold that up and push it against my ruler. And then I'm going to fold it back on itself. You can cut that off if you want. I choose not to. And the only one I'm going to round is this end here. So I'm going to put that in the corner rounder fold that in, use my bone folder to just burnish those edges and there we have our envelope which is suitable for a 3 by 4 card. So I have made several of these with magazine pages and all sorts of other papers um, and they're going to be the same size every time. So you can have a whole set of these envelopes ready to go. So that was item number two. Let's put that in our pile of what we have made. So now we are going to move on to the cards. So I have cut my cards, journaling cards, at four by three. Okay. And I am going to use my corner rounder on every single corner. in my envelope punch board to make a set of journaling cards. Now, if we grab our envelope, that's gonna fit in there perfectly. And also, this is the smaller tab, we could put a tab on there 
and we have something for another piece or it could go on here and this could go in something else that we're going to make so that's your journaling cards so so simple it's just a piece of card cut by th three by four and then use your envelope punch board to cut the corners wahoo we are on fire okay so the next thing we're going to make is a little bit more um, involved it's not a huge deal it's not difficult at all I promise you I have cut some cardstock and this cardstock is six inches by four and a half six inches by four and a half and we are going to make mini file folders okay again using our punch board and you will need either a pair of scissors or a cutting device of some sort so what I'm going to do is I want the punch side on my left again sorry I just had to let the ambulance go past <laughs> it was very loud you need the cutting side the punch side again on my left hand side now this is the what will be the top and the bottom so I'm going to have it short side against my punch board. Now, I am not great with measuring. So I always use lines that are available on my punch board or tape to hold something in place. But what I'm going to do is I'm pushing this in in the same way we made the tabs. I'm pushing this in so the edge of my page is halfway through that envelope punch. OK. And I'm going to punch that. So we've got that. Now you can decide however long you want your tab. But I line this piece of card up with the edge of that text. And then I know that every single file folder I make will have the same proportions. And I'm going to punch again. And we have that. Now before I put my envelope punch board away, I'm going to use this corner rounder to round those two other edges like that and like that we now have what's looking a lot more like a file folder if you are good with scissors you just need to cut that section off I am not good with scissors I'm going to put it in my cutting board this is the cut line and that is the little V indentation so I'm going to slide that little V indentation up to my cutting line going to put down my cut and I'm going to cut that section off when you get to here you can feel that you're no longer cutting anything so you know you've got to the edge that one's not perfect but you know what I'm happy with that if you're not you can just cut a tiny bit more I'm not going to try with this cutting board because it is pants it will rip my paper now again if you have one of these your page is six by four and a half to start with and you need to remember to score at two and three quarters and you want the flat side to your left the tab side to your right and this is when you decide which side you want your tab on if you want it on the left you put it that way if you want it on the right you can put it that way and I'm going to score at two and three quarter inches. And because I've done a lot of these, I've actually put a little pen mark there. And I'm going to fold that in half. Now I'm just going to grab my envelope punch board one more time. And you can see the cutter is not very good. I'm going to trim that edge there too. So I'm going to put it in there, corner rounder. And there we have our file folder. If you want it the other way, you just turn it round. Okay. You can do a much better job of cutting that. I'm going to just trim it now with my scissors because I didn't quite do a good job of that. And I'll round that corner again. There we go. That's much better. So you can have it on the left. And again, our little cards will fit in there. Okay, not perfectly. They do pop up. And you could also, if you wanted to, add a tab. Mm find it if you use that tab it's going to match the tab on the file folder so there you have your mini file folder with your journaling card so that is make number three make number three no one that's make number four make number four so the final one is the most tricky 
and I say tricky, it's not really tricky at all. Just takes a little bit more doing. For this one, you also need, it's up to you, you don't have to do this. This is two inch square punch, but that is an inch. The straight edge is an inch. So we, I'm using this punch. My paper for this, or my card, is two and a quarter by four and three quarters. That's the size of my paper for this piece. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half and I'm going to, I can't remember what the measurement is because that's the one I haven't written down. I'm just going to put a little nick in it, put it in my scoreboard and then score it. So I get a nice neat, that is now my square. I fold it because I, I want to know, I've used my punch to cut out a square in a different color, contrasting color. Okay, I'm gonna use the inside, either side, take my square, line it up. So I've lined this up, leaving a little bit more at the top than at the cut edge. And what I'm gonna do is take my pencil, once I've got my square, I'm just gonna do a little bit along that line and that line and draw there. So I can see roughly where the corners of my punch need to go. I'm gonna put my punch in, line it up if I can see the light, punch that, and there we have an almost perfect square. Well, the square is perfect, my cutting might not be. Now, in comes the envelope punch board. The open side, I'm folding it in half because I want to do both sides at once and I'm going to round both of those bottom corners. To make my slide a little bit more interesting, I'm going to use this and do the halfway, halfway and punch. I'm going to flip it, put that in, halfway, and punch. So I now have a bit more of an interesting top to my slide. The other thing about this is what you can now do with that. I've got my journaling card. I can now use this as a tab, but I can also decorate something there and use that as a pocket and I've got the tab at the same time. And then again, it will go into the file folder. It won't go into the envelope, obviously, if you've done this, but you can add your tabs to the front of your file folders. You can add your tabs to the top of these if you want to use them as journaling cards. The possibilities are endless, I say. They are. So I'm just gonna burnish this down a little bit so it stops flapping about. So we have a pretty basic journaling card, we have a file folder, we have a slide, we have an envelope and we have some tabs. And this has all come because of the envelope punch board. Got one, two, three, four, ooh, five. Five different things all made from that envelope punch board. It doesn't really end there though, because um, we've now got a lot of squares. So I'm gonna just corner the ends of these. Okay, we can, we can have any size and shape we want. If we cut a little rectangle out, for example, and make one, so I've cut this little one out. I'm gonna make this one slightly smaller. I'm not measuring, just cutting. That sits on there. I'm gonna cut a little bit off the end as well so it's not quite as long. You've got some little pieces that you can mount one on top of the other. You can use your envelope punch board to cut the corners of these and make your titles all sorts of things, you could round the back as well. And these little squares, what I want to do 
is I picked up this mega, mega cheap pack, 150 numbers from um, the works, if you are in the UK. I've already got our number seven. So with my little, once I've done some stamping on there and jazzed that up, I can ink my number seven and I can put my number on there. And then my number can go into, it can go onto my journaling card or it can go onto my file folder or it can go onto my envelope. And don't forget, there are also scissors that can do the stamp edging if you need to. Um, I've got this tiny little punch, which is a tiny little tag. Um, let's find a piece of scrap. You can just cut out a whole heap of these. Whole heap of them, stamp them, do all sorts with them. So this is how I've spent my last three days. And I have um, obviously things like envelopes. Some of my envelopes I've cut out with my Cricut. This is all an option for you to build up a huge stash of ephemera just using an envelope punch board. For those of you that are a bit tight of funds, like myself, you can make lots and lots of different things and put together a stash of items to make with. Um, that's it. I'm a bit out of breath. I was talking so fast through that. It's because because I really want a coffee, really want a coffee. So that of rectangles cut out, a whole heap of them. Um, but they're all gonna come in handy for something or other. Take care. Bye.